Hello, my name is Dave from Rapid Education and today I'm going to show you how to make the audio amplifier project. This is an interesting introduction into amplification and is suitable for Key Stage 3 and 4 students. Making this kit will give students an understanding of electronic tuning circuits, signal amplification and speaker design. The kit comes in a pack of 5, however you can purchase in a class pack of 20 with a grapnels tray for easy storage. In this kit you'll find one 66mm 8 ohm speaker, one PP3 battery clip with fly leads, one 3.5mm stereo jack lead, some speaker cable, then we have one 8-pin deal socket, one audio amplifier IC, one slide switch, and one PCB stereo jack socket. Then we have three 1000 ohm carbon film resistors, two 470 ohm carbon film resistors and one 1 ohm carbon film resistor. We have two 330 microfarad electrolytic capacitors and one 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. One 100 nanofarad polyester box capacitor and one 47 nanofarad polyester box capacitor. One 150 picofarad ceramic disc capacitor, one 5 millimeter red LED and one PCB board for mounting. You're also going to need some solder wire and a soldering iron, some wire strippers, a battery, some side snips, and a helping hand for holding your PCB. We've also created extensive teacher's notes to accompany the project. Students will learn about amplification technology, the design and specification process, the manufacturing procedure itself, and how to evaluate their work once they've completed their project. First, place your carbon film resistors in the holes designated for these components on the PCB board, taking care that the correct values are placed in the correct positions according to the included guidance notes. Bend the legs of the resistors back so they sit flush with the board, preventing them from falling out when soldering. Clip the board into your helping hands and solder the legs to the contacts located on the rear of the board. When all the legs have been soldered in place, remove any excess material from the legs with your side cutters. Next, place your electrolytic capacitors onto your PCB board, ensuring the long leg, or anode, is placed in the hole with the positive sign next to it. Again, bend the legs back to ensure that these components don't fall out when soldering, and clip the PCB back to your helping hands. Solder these legs into place and snip off any excess material. Next, collect your ceramic capacitor, noting there is no longer or shorter leg on this unit, and place in a designated hole on the board. Bend the legs back, attach the helping hands, solder into place and remove any excess leg. Following on, apply your polyester capacitor to the board and repeat previous steps to solder them into place. Then, place the 8-pin deal socket on the PCB board. No need to bend the legs on this component as the legs hold firm within the holes. Solder into place and trim off any excess. Next, pick up your audio amplifier IC and press firmly into the deal socket ensuring that the IC is mounted the correct way up and that you don't bend the legs when doing so. Then select your red LED and place the legs through the holes, again ensuring the long leg or anode is sitting in the hole marked with a positive symbol. Bend the legs, solder into place and remove any excess material. Take your slide switch and place into the designated hole on the PCB board, ensuring the switch faces outwards and solder into place. Next, take your stereo PCB jack socket and apply it to the designated space on your board and solder into place. Then select your battery clip with the fly leads. Notice that the wires have already been tinned, so no need to do this process. Place the wires through the holes designated for this unit, ensuring the red cable sits in the terminal marked with the positive and solder into place. Now pick up your speaker cable and carefully split the two strands of wire, taking note of the black line running down one side. With some wire strippers, remove roughly a centimeter of shielding from both strands and twist the individual copper strands so that they're nice and tight against each other. Pop the cable into your helping hands and carefully tin the copper strands by running the soldering iron and solder against the exposed strands until they have been coated with solder. Remove the cable from the helping hands and place your tin strand through the holes on the PCB board designated for the speaker ensuring that the strand with the black line running down it is placed into the hole with the negative symbol adjacent to it. Solder into place and remove any excess. 
Then repeat the cable separation, stripping, coiling and tinning process for the other end of the speaker cable ready to solder into the speaker. Place your tin speaker wire through the terminals located on the speaker, ensuring the strand with the black line is placed through the negative marked terminal. Solder into place and remove any excess material. You've now completed all the soldering required to build this project, so ensure that you turn off your soldering iron and place it in a safe place. Once you've completed your project, plug in your PP3 battery, turn on your audio amplifier project and notice that the red LED turns on, and the moment of truth... If you'd like more information about this project, then please just click on the link below this video to access the teacher's notes. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.